Hello, today I'm going to show you my template, which I have previously showed on all of my tutorials. Template is also going to be free download on the description. First of all, if you want to make adjustments, go um, do the tweakings here, add as an example plugins, go here and save as. Then on your projects folder, go to templates and save it there. After that, I'll open it like this, new from template, and open it from here. And then it should open every time you open the FL Studio. But yeah, this is my template. I have few samples loaded already here. These are just stock FL Studio samples, but they all are routed to Mixer. So if I make a fast beat, everything is already going to Mixer. And that really speeds up my workflow. You can choose your favorite samples and put them over here. And then there's also a few automation clips which are already on the playlist over here and that's about channel rack then here's the mixer I think this is the biggest part of this template I have everything going to master then I have these purple ones which are uh, bus sends I mean bus mixer tracks yeah and they all are going to master EFX and master EFX goes to master so Let's say I have the drums over here. The drum individual drums go to drum mix over here. And the mix is for tweaking the sound. And then drum mix goes to drum EFX, which is for adding EFX like reverbs and filters, moving filters and stuff like that. And then the drum EFX goes to master EFX, which has filter and maybe some EQ or stuff. And this master filter over here, it's already the playlist. So when you start the project, you can already do low cuts and high cuts. And then the drums. Um, I have EQs on the drum hit buses yeah but on my own template this is for the tutorial purpose but i have also few other effects that i use on my kicks on regular basis and i might have on the snare maybe reverb or something like that but you have to add those on your own to here because there's so much plugins out there and that's pretty individual thing. Also, same with the drum mix. I might have a compressor here or something like that. But you have to figure out what's on your drum bus. Okay, then there's Coast Kick, which is over here. This has no sound, but it's already sidechained to a few buses. And if you want to sidechain that, side that to more buses, you go over here and sidechain to this track. Be careful to not click on here because it will delete all these pre made sidechains. But yeah, you click sidechain here and that adds sidechain. But there's few pre allocated ones, and also I have limiters over here which are for the side chain so I can just go on the limiter choose the side chain whichever it is at that time and point I can show you because I have no sound So yeah, 
this is how fast it is to just start laying the ideas on the table. You don't have to every time do the routing. And pretty much the same layout goes for every bus. Here I have three mixed tracks where I route my instruments like pianos and synths. Like this. And these all are routed to instrument mix, which has few um, EQs and compressors already. I also have some stereo effects and on the instrument EFX I made, might often have reverb which I use on the transitions all, only. And these are routed again to master EFX. And then is the bass. I often use more than one bass layer, so I have three layers going to base one. That has only EQ, but you can add your favorite bass effects like sausage patterns and stuff. And base one goes to base EFX, which has filter, but that's not um, that's not made to automation clipper yet. And then limiter, compressor, EQ. All the basic stuff. Then there's also sub bass and bass 2. And then FX EFX? Yeah, that's for sound effects, stuff like that. And there's a few tracks routed there. Yeah, then there's these empty, empty tracks which you can move here. Yeah by pressing ALT and arrow key, left or right. You can move them here and then just route to this track only. That's the basic instrument layout on the mixer. I also have um, over here, this is also mixer track. That's mixer current. So, if I have this over here chosen, it will show up on the on here. So, I have on the mixer current I have wave candy. So, when my drum drums play and I go to snare, I click over here. It will show the mixer current on here. And that way You can add effects to whichever instrument is playing currently. So, if I want chorus on the perks, I can test it out this way. But I mainly use it for monitoring my sounds. And then I have uh, uh, reverbs. I use reverb sense. And the way that works. I have shown on my previous uh, reverb tutorial, but basically, if I have the piano on here, I can just throw it like that, and then maybe add the side chain. Also, the master filters and instrument filter on the over here, they are routed to reverbs. So when I move my master low pass, it will also move on the reverb as well. So just so you know that they are linked, linked, and. Pretty much that's about it. I also have on the audio settings over here on the project I have triangular fanning enabled, but that's just my preference. 
that's about it. And I have the download down below in the description. If you liked this tutorial, please leave a like, uh, maybe share with producer friend. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Yeah, let me know. Thanks for watching. See you next time.